Now, but uh, our first guest on the program is Harold van der Linde, Head of Asia Equity Strategy at HSBC. Harold, good morning. Great to have you with us here. Thank you very much for your time. Prashant, this side, and wishing you, your team, your family a happy new year. Uh, you know, <clears throat> first week done and uh, getting into the thick of it now, uh, kicking off the second one. Uh, Harold, I, I mean, I was looking at the latest report that you uh, have put out at HSBC, and you're pretty positive on emerging markets on both China and India, and you detail out all these reasons why India looks good. Uh, it's done. It's a market which has done well historically, and you, you feel there's no reason why it should not uh, continue to uh, perform, outperform, actually. Uh, but before I come to that, I just want to start with this one uh, a point about what's happening with this uh, back and forth about U.S. rates. Uh, you know, we had the Dallas Fed president on, on Saturday talking about, I mean, a rate hike. Maybe is just to scare the market off, not to price in rate cuts uh, in an imminent fashion. Or is there more to it? What's your sense? No, first of all, uh, you also, Happy New Year. Uh, thanks for having me on, of course. I used to work, I worked actually through December. So we had a couple of reports out on, on, on markets, just as you highlighted. I hope you had a bit of a break. But um, uh, let's go to the Fed first and then talk about how to look at India, maybe. Um, we've had, while I was working, all my colleagues were on holiday, um, we had like a massive decline in bond yields. And we spoke about this last month already, but this has continued, right? So we've seen these bond yields going from five to below four in, in a matter of only a couple of weeks' time. Um, that, of course, has lifted global equities and tech in particular and these sort of things. But if you then looked at late last year, by the last day of December, uh, when we looked at the number of rate cuts that were being priced in by the market, that was quite a lot, much more than what our economies were forecasting. And I think you now see some of these economies coming out and say, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Um, um, yeah, there will probably be rate cuts, but maybe not as much as what you're forecasting. And I think we have our economists we're talking about it. We've seen people on, in the US, uh, prominent economists talking about it. Um, uh, I think some of us made some comments on it, but some people from, from the Fed as well. And the market is recalibrating. Um, December is a time of low liquidity, so prices can move very quickly. Early on in the year, people said, hey, hey, we've, we've gone a little bit too far. So now we see these bond yields creeping up and the equity markets come off again. But I think this is a temporary sort of thing. This will continue maybe for, who knows, maybe one, two uh, months or something like that, maybe even a, bit, a little bit longer. But that's then where we stand. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then I think these bond yields can, as we go deeper into 2024, they can go a little bit lower again from where we are at the moment. But in the meantime, we need to recalibrate. So that means that in the very near term, maybe the equity market outlook, in particular in the US, might be a little bit muted. All right. Uh, so you're still bullish on India, but the equity move in the U.S. might be a little muted. And in the Indian, within the Indian markets, where do you see opportunities, uh, Herald, both in terms of valuation as well as growth headroom? Yeah. So just put it slightly in context. We like China, we like India, but for completely different reasons. China is a market where the direction has been flat to down, right? But there's a lot of different stocks that move in different directions in China. So this is the sort of approach that you want to take in China. In India, it's almost the other way around. That market performs very well. If you know your stocks, you can, of course, go deeper. But it's a market where I say you buy into dips. So if we see over the next, say, one or two months, these markets coming up because of all the global reasons that I mentioned, I think India would be a market where I say, hey, um, uh, that, that's a market I, I want to buy into. So we continue to like um, uh, both markets, but India for a very... Very different uh, for very different reasons. Um, uh, th there's a couple of other positive trends going on in India as well. The market is broadening. There's more locals who are buying it, but also they're going to smaller mid caps. So the liquidity is broadening in the market. There's a lot of positive things going on with, with Indian equities, and I think people should uh, uh, should look through near term weakness and look at those positive factors going forward. Good morning. Good to see you in as always. Hello, a couple of quick points. Yeah, then, uh, you know, with regard to the Fed, how many rate cuts are y'all factoring in as a house? Point number one. Point number two, India is the longer term story. But in the near term, do you think that China can outperform India going by the valuations and the stock underperformance? Yeah. So two questions. First on um, how many rate cuts are we seeing rate cuts? We, we see everything in the second half of the year. And the market was already saying, are oh, they going to start cutting in, in March? 
So that it's also a timing issue that's of importance. So um, um, yeah, budgets will come down, but not as soon, and probably are going to be in a bit of a holding pattern on that particular front uh, in the very near term, probably three months or so. Uh, and now, what was the second question again? That was about India, um, but I forgot what it was. Can you repeat it? Yeah, in the near term. Oh, in the near term. Yeah, yeah. No, all equity markets will will struggle a little bit with that global um, with that global backdrop, right? Uh, but you had last year earnings growth in India was twenty six percent, at least the indices that we're looking at. Um, that is pretty good. It will slow down in India. What you see in India now is, I think we we're seeing some limits to the growth in earnings growth coming through. The banks' uh, loan to deposit ratio is high. That means that. Uh, to extend more loans and fuel that growth. They need to do something on the deposit side. That means increase interest rates, maybe a little bit on deposit to get them in. Or if they don't want to do that, maybe not extend as many loans. So I think those loan growth numbers might maybe moderate a little bit. That means that the growth in the private sector is going to moderate a little bit as well. So the earnings growth, I think, is going to come down in India uh, from pretty high levels. But we're looking at something like 18% for this year, 2024. That is pretty good. So if we see a little bit lower valuations and then earnings growth profile is going to stick up there, yeah, then I think, hey, this is a market you, you want to buy into, uh, into the dips that we see. So this is a great opportunity maybe to, to reassess what you want to buy as these global factors are going to maybe um, weigh on, on India in the very, very near term. Okay, that's going to stay with us. Uh, this is a market that you want to buy into and this is a great opportunity to reassess what you want to buy. Thanks a lot, Harold, for joining in and speaking to CNBC TV 18. Well, that's an optimistic view on the Indian markets. That's Harold Vandalin of HSBC saying they like India and within sectors they like autos, retailers, real estate and the telecom space.